Okay, this is the dollar yen. Adds a daily candlestick chart. And um, I do love candlesticks because I can see the range and the close. Like here, four days down, kablamo. Takes out this low just brutally. And of course, this big area in here, all the stops, all the people that thought that um, this was going to be the stairway to heaven. Um, you know, they all had an order there. But uh, what I'm really interested in is this um, equidistant channel. That's basically two parallel trend lines. Of course, if you would have done that here, um, you should certainly make the argument for um, it really going to go up nice. Because you can cue this to all these just beautifully. Um, but, and, uh, you know, that's just uh, my favorite tool, it's this parallel thing. Uh, you can basically project a channel, uh, see a channel fail. And, uh, but um, another thing that it, that's a real nice uh, tool, which is this, uh, just take your chart down to line chart, which is kind of like, I always think of it like um, when you go to the hospital and you come in with a condition, you look like this, and, and that's your whole body. There's the body of the candle. There's all this drama, and then it's like, okay, so let me see if you have any broken bones. And this would be the x-ray, which really tells the story. And uh, it kind of looks like RSI in a way. And if you put RSI on it, of course, you know, there's a million uh, divergences and reversals on that. But just for the uh, sake of the channel thing, just a quick and dirty kind of like, uh, yeah, let's just throw some channels on here. And of course, you know, without regard to Fibonacci and all that... Um, all that stuff it hurts my brain because I don't know which Fibonacci that's choose, you know. But um, I'm into support becomes resistance and resistance becomes support on a trend line. So here's your resistance. Of course, um, you know, let me make the argument there that uh, yeah, broke through, but okay, pr it, it, you know, broke through and closed. But of course, if you go to the uh, candle version of that, you know. Nice narrow range of the ATR, you know, people. Of course, the ATR 14, you wouldn't use on a daily here if you're trying to get in on these things. You're just looking at that and saying, wow, that's not a lot of pips. Something stalled out up there. Certainly, it's a critical area if you consider um, top become bottom and bottom become top theory. Here's your bottom back here and go back to the line chart. But the line chart's just so clean, just so brutally um, it is the x-ray. Of course, this broker closes at different times than other brokers. Luckily, this broker closes their books on a nice, perfect point. And here's your top bottom uh, failure. Everybody's like, oh, that's going to... But see, uh, top becomes a bottom, bottom becomes a top. Then kablamo. And of course, if you wanted to put a nice tight equidistant um, uh, channel on that. Cue that up. And here's all your bottom becomes a top on uh, at an angle. An angular top bottom. Just, you know, just no-brainer stuff. Of course, um, here when it closes, everybody's like, whoa, it's coming back. Yeah, you know, and then, okay, of course, look at the candle and see, well, where would you put your stop on that? Well, I guess you'd have to put it up here. Or here whatever. But certainly selling into that, wow, that's that's a real dumb, easy trade, isn't it? And of course, I've got the scale fixed on here, so I always fix my scales because I want to manipulate the chart all over. If you fix that scale, you can go uh, unless there's really new da data printing, you can take the market anywhere you want. Of course, you got the chart shift engaged here. So I can pretty much um, take it, uh, um, take it, 
notes from I give myself some space in the future uh, see you know project plan the next hour next week or next five minutes of trading of course this is a daily chart and uh, this is the core you know so I'm selling in here I actually sold in here I sold in here too early because I was so excited about the pattern setup but I was kind of scalped that kind of broke even scalping that because I knew that would be a um, you know crazy crazy drama day there of course yeah this this mode here I mean really I mean is is crude as it is it's just uh, the x-ray and certainly uh, you know that's it's just clean okay here's your um, bottom so now I was gonna say before I start out here it was the uh, was this going to keep going beautifully up and of course the tight bottom range of the channel if you drew a you know a tighter channel down here or this would be the midpoint if you did Andrew's fork that would be like um, Andrew's fork would look like um, it doesn't it's not on here you can add it but it'd be something like that you know where you've got this midline and it's like, yeah, that thing's just going to keep going up. I'm going to zoom out here, and that was everybody's projecting, you know, for that. Okay, so there's a daily now. Um, and of course, a, a daily, this is major. Such a major top becomes a bottom. And then, of course, you can make the argument here uh, that this top, this little baby top in here, becomes a bottom. Bottom, top. Of course, uh, if I switch to candle mode here, you're going to be able to see that, yeah, it's, you know, on, on, cl on the range of the day, inevitably. But but drawing all these on close first and then switch back and forth between, this is all you need. I mean, you know, I know RSI, I know stochastics, I mean, uh, CCI is my favorite, but uh, I must say, um, even though I'll look at them before I trade when the market's open, never look at them. I'm just looking at the price thinking, what in the hell is going on here? So I kind of was thinking, you know, I'm looking at my orders, I'm looking at my, my risk, and I don't look at the indicator. I look at the market's closed, I'm thinking, God, look at that entry there. So this one at least keeps you, you know, you just fix. Plus you can go like this and... I, you know, no offense to people's charts that look like this, but seriously, I want to see how much I'm risking. And uh, on here, um, oh, well, I'm missing my, uh, okay, 100 pip handles I put in here. Some guy named, uh, some guy uh, created a uh, indicator called Big Numbers. If you look up Big Numbers MT4, and uh, basically you can he's got it so you can put a hundred pip handles in there and of course it makes it a little messier but you can see how much more you're risking you know okay now I just want to get to this uh, um, okay I was just gonna well, my point being is that um, you know it's really like uh, you know, it's an inkblot test, really. You see what you want to see here. So now I could take this and extrapolate it. I could, uh, okay, this trend line broke. See, now I can make the argument for this trend line has broken. Now we're coming up into major resistance. This bottom could become a top right in here. And then we could be creating a whole new channel, um, you know, uh, on this one. So we could come over here, and you can just drag this almost like a GAN, uh, a GANish thing here. They're gonna come in, may and maybe so maybe come up in here and, and the drama. But I'm scalping like this, like crazy, all next week because uh, I'll be putting sell orders up in here, pendings like this, and uh, where all the stops are, of course, right? I mean, isn't that what they uh, right the stop on, right? So I grab, I grab these. Uh, and then cash out here on all the people going, oh god, I just can't believe I got stopped up. Of course, up in here too, I'd be, I would sell. If it went up there, I'd have a pending there. And, um, of course, here, of course, right? That's, I'm, I'm basically um, inverting. If everybody's losing, then I'm going to do what everybody's 
like here I'm buying like uh, it's tanking for um, you know how many days there it looks pretty brutal I mean certainly if you're buying here you're getting crushed but of course you know about 50 pips huh? you got you got in at 97 even yeah, I really think the bankers are getting in around numbers because they just you know why, why, why torture yourself right but um, I just want to take a look at this and zoom back real quick before I run out of time on this thing Okay, so now there, uh, we just throw a crude uh, equidistant on here on the big. So look at the key, the key rollover point, and then I'm going to zoom out to the weekly and just see where that fits into the weekly. I know a lot of people start off weekly and drill down. I'm going to go undrill and see if this stuff stacks up in the big picture. And then, of course, um, the insane. Um, let's go to line chart and see that insane entry down here. Um, is it there or not? I go the monthly. Okay, here it is. Uh, top becomes a bottom. Uh, I remember when this was forming, and I thought, "My God, you got to be kidding me!" Now that looks like it could be a one-hour chart, but that monthly chart, these 100 pip handles. I mean, you're buying in here with a 200 pip stop. I guess if you go to the candles, you can see. Um, yeah, you would have survived that uh, stop. Of course, you know, flipping back and forth between this, I wish there was a top, I don't know if there's a hot key to get back and forth, but when this thing left the station, and of course when I took this out, as they say, Katie barred the door, and then um, that's just insane. Of course, a market's been going down for five years, I mean, seriously, and then as you zoom out, of course, um, I know the earthquakes in there somewhere. Oh yeah, here. I blew up an account here. I started trading here. I think this was the earthquake. I'm not sure, but it was pretty brutal. Spike. <laughs> I, I I thought, well, the market's certainly going to turn around. And, you know, it has to. Are you serious? Of course, here's the big view. And these these big numbers only paint so far out. But of course, and then here's the uh, line chart. And so where are we in the picture now? You know, well, I go to daily, and uh, I mean the market's got some serious depth to it sometimes. Here, of course, it's all a matter of perspective. There's the daily, there's the channel, and um, so yeah, I'm looking to looking for some crazy action in here. I'll be placing pendings, uh, just a bunch, like just like an idiot pretty much because trading is so dumb